strap in. Vicky Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are finally heading home after an unexpected nine-month space odyssey. But this isn't your typical ride home. From the moment the two stranded NASA astronauts step into the Starliner capsule to their high-speed re-entry and parachute-assisted landing, their return will be a carefully choreographed descent through the Earth's atmosphere. So how exactly are they making their way back? Let's break it down. On June 5, 2024, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore launched aboard Boeing's Starliner on a groundbreaking test mission. This space journey was also NASA's bid to establish a backup to SpaceX's Crew Dragon. But just days after docking at the ISS, everything went sideways. The Starliner suffered gas leaks and thruster malfunctions, turning what should have been a routine trip into an extended high-stakes space saga. With the capsule deemed too risky for re-entry, their short mission stretched into an unexpected nine-month stay, testing their endurance, resilience and NASA's problem-solving skills like never before. Stranded in orbit for longer than planned, Williams and Wilmore had to adapt to the challenges of prolonged space flight, relying on ingenuity, teamwork and the unwavering support of NASA engineers on the ground to ensure their safe return. SpaceX's Dragon Freedom, which had been docked at the ISS since late September, was originally meant to bring home the Crew-9 astronauts after Crew-10's arrival. The spacecraft carried NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gurbunov into orbit, leaving two empty seats now reserved for Williams and Wilmore. But when the Starliner's issue left them stranded, NASA and SpaceX devised a carefully coordinated rescue plan. Now, after several months of delays and uncertainty, the astronauts are finally set to return to Earth aboard the Crew-10 rescue mission. Their journey home follows a precise five-step return procedure, ensuring a safe landing, which includes In step one, the hatch is sealed wherein the crew dragon locks up for the journey home. Step two is undocking wherein the spacecraft detaches from the ISS, setting course for Earth. Step three is re-entry wherein intense heat and friction emerges as it plunges through the Earth's atmosphere. Step four is parachutes getting deployed which is the slowing down for a controlled descent. Step 5 is splashdown with a safe landing in the Atlantic with recovery teams on standby. As Crew-10 prepares to return home, their Dragon spacecraft undocked from the International Space Station, slowly drifting away using onboard thrusters. This maneuver was carefully timed to ensure a safe departure trajectory and avoiding any risk of collision with the ISS. Once at a safe distance, Dragon performs a deorbit burn, adjusting its path for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. From there, the astronauts brace for the next most critical phase, which is the high-speed re-entry, and then eventually followed by parachute deployment and splashdown. The most critical phase of the journey is re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. During this intense stage, the capsule will endure scorching temperatures of up to 1600 degrees Celsius while NASA and the crew inside will experience a complete radio blackout for several minutes. Once the capsule successfully passes through, NASA's tracking teams and recovery crews spring into action, ensuring a swift and safe extraction of the astronauts after their splashdown. long months in orbit, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore are bringing an end to a mission that was anything but ordinary. Their return isn't just a relief for NASA, it's a testament to human resilience, engineering ingenuity and the unyielding spirit of space exploration. But as they prepare for splashdown, one final challenge remains, Earth's gravity. After adapting to microgravity for nearly a year, 
the real test begins once Butch and Sunny step out of the capsule. I'll miss everything, Sunita Williams had said when asked about the one thing she'll miss about space. I don't want to lose that spark of inspiration when I leave, so I'm going to have to bottle it up somehow. The final countdown has begun. It's just a few hours to go before Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams touch down on the pale blue dot. Challenges await a plenty, but when their feet finally touch solid ground, this mission will be remembered not for the delays, but for its determination and daring rescue with NASA and SpaceX finally closing this unprecedented space saga.